All right, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight tilt between Mauricio Shogun Hua and Forrest Griffin. the decorated kickboxer back for more here tonight and he's so comfortable in the striking realm it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing oh it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress i know when you're in kickboxing range you are in the fire there is no safety you're right in range to be getting knocked out but he does not fear that he loves it he loves the he loves the combat he loves the engagement what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Ladies and gentlemen, he is a member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Forrest Griffin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 27 wins, 13 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Mauricio Shogun Hula! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the night. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Throwing that jab, no good. Hua gets caught with that punch. Gotta show off the defense. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Ooh, big knee. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Right 
moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he finds a home for that left hook. Punch over the top. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming in. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture. It's rained down big strikes in your point. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous. But there are a lot of outs, and if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, well, looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's gonna attack armbar here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. And oh, now he's in trouble. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 26 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position, which is the crown, and he would be able to finally finish by submission tonight. He did just that.